Hi guys, it's Anime Ovia, and today is chapter 4 of Shoji X Reader. I hope you guys enjoy. Trigger warning, there is still a little bit talk of self boo boos. Again, if that is an uncomfortable topic, be more than welcome to click off. If not, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye! You quickly ran into the music room and shut the door, not locking as you pressed yourself up against the wall and cried your heart out. How embarrassing, you thought to yourself. Your self-boo-boo scars are from last month, but your newest one was on your thighs. You continued sobbing until the door slammed open. You look up to see an extremely worried and scared Mizo. You buried your face into your hands, continued to cry as he slowly walked over to you and kneeled in front of you. He pulled you into a tight hug and said in a very shaky voice, Why, Yen? he asked. You explained to him everything. Your mom and dad were heroes, but one day a villain found out your father had a very powerful quirk. And one day, the villains found your house and attacked it and threatened to kill you. Your dad begged them not to, and they said that they'll kill him instead of you, and he agreed. They burned your house down and killed and took your father. It's my fault that he's dead, you cried in a shaky voice. Misa looked at you and quickly shook his head. No, no, it's not, Yen. It's not your fault. You couldn't have controlled the situation. You were a kid. He pulled, you, pulled away from the hug and looked at you with a worried face. I'm so glad that you're alive, he said. He smiled through the tears, and you smiled back at him, nodding, and giving him another big hug. He helped you up, and you two went to the bathroom. He waited outside as you washed your face and changed your uniform. You went to Recovery Girl for the gash and went back to class, and people came up to you asking you if you were okay and introducing themselves. Ochaku Uraka, Suyu Asui, Aoyama, Eijiro Kirishima, they all said. Nice to meet you all. You said you were happy that nobody brought up the scars until Katsuki came over after everyone left. So what's the deal with your arm, shitty girl? What did you just call me? You said in shock. You heard me. So what's the deal? He retorted. I'm going through a tough time right now. My friends are waiting. I, I gotta go, you said. Fine, don't think you can run away from me forever, you damn extra, he said as he walked away. You sighed and quickly ran over to Shoji. Ready to go? He said. He nodded his head and you two started walking to the metro. Once you two got on, he got into his phone and you were looking out the window when Mizo tapped you on the shoulder and showed you a funny photo. You snorted and covered your mouth in embarrassment. He looked at your blushing a thousand shades of pink and he chuckled. You blushed as well. You hated your laugh. You always snorted. It was weird. Once you two got off the metro, you talked about school and other stuff. And then you got to your house. Hey, Yin? Mizo asked. Uh, yeah? What is it, Mizo? Um, about your arm, he said nervously. Uh, what is it? He said. Please try and stop, okay? You looked at him and he had a worried look on his face. I will, you said. As you waved goodbye and went into your house, after you got inside and set all your bags down, you gripped on your phone and dialed the pizza shop. Hello? Yes, I would like to order a large pizza. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. You hung up the phone and sat down. You walked over to the couch and put on a TV show to pass the time. About after 30 minutes, you hear the doorbell ring. You walk over and see the pizza man. You take the pizza and hand him the money and flop back on your couch. After you finish eating all your pizza and watching your show, you dialed your mom's phone number and hit the call. You. Hello? Mom. Hello? Yin? How was school? She asked through the phone. You responded, Oh, um, great. Mom, that's amazing. Oh, I also found out that I need to stay a few more days than planned. They still need my help, she said. You. Oh, okay, that's fine. Mom. Alrighty, well, I have to go. Don't eat pizza every night, okay? She said. You. <laughs> okay, Mom, I won't. Okay, sweetheart, I love you. I, I love you too, Mom. Bye. She hung up the phone and you set it down on the table. Your blurry face and your knees and sobbed. The thing she needed most right now was your mother. 
How could you have that when she has constantly going away on trips all the time? You change out of your uniform into your PJs and pull out your phone. You texted Mizo. Hey, Mizo. He responded, yes, Yin. And you texted back, I just want to say good night, smiley face. Mizo responded, oh, okay, good night, Yin. You smiled and set your phone down. Did you like him? Well, sure, he was attractive and sweet. But you can't like him. You'd end up hurting him anyways. You can't do that right now. You rolled over and turned off the lights and mumbled to yourself, come home soon, mom, and quickly drifted off into a deep sleep. All right, that was the end of chapter four. I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you next time for chapter five. Bye, guys.